welcome to my second stream of the day. Um, I honestly, I don't do this very often, if ever, actually. So, um, I thought I would. My husband's gone, uh, kids are in bed, so I've got the living room all to myself. I thought, well, what can I do? Apart from just play sims by myself, I will play sims with other people. Yay. I'm basically just going to carry on with what I was doing this morning actually so I'm going to go back and do my Black Widow I was thinking of doing some more um, current household stuff but I thought I'll just carry on what I do this morning because for the people who don't watch me when I stream in the middle of the day because of work commitments or whatever you can kind of see what I'm up to catch up with where I am if you don't know what the Black Widow challenge is Basically, you start off with a sim and you have to have her marry and then kill off 10 separate husbands. And you get extra points for things like getting kids, having um, successful dates, that kind of thing. But um, I, I've got four kids. When it loads up, Christmas taking taken ages to load. But I'll show you around my family. Um, I'll show you who we've got and give you a little rundown of who my... Um, deceased husbands are. Okay, here we are. Here is my Black Widow, Angelina Spider, and she has been married uh, and widowed five times, and she's still only a adult. I think she only just aged up to adult as well. Yes, yeah, she's going to be an elder in nineteen days. So I don't think I'm going to complete it before she becomes an elder at this rate. I'm running out of time. We are living in the Spencer Kim Lewis household in Willow Creek, which is this one just here. It's one of the big mansions up on the hill. And we are living here because we just were married to Dennis Kim, the elder who used to live here. And we killed him via woohoo. But you know what struck me after I ended the stream this morning? I didn't get a picture with him. I have a picture of men on... Uh, of the men that I've been married to on my wall for each one and actually all you know I need to do I need to get um, the picture of Jeffrey out I don't think I got a picture of me and Dennis which is a shame because now he's dead so I can't get any picture of him so I, th I think I'm gonna have to get a picture of him as a ghost which is not quite the same thing but it, I mean it'll still be a picture of him so all these are terrible pictures we need a better camera this is the only good one, so we'll frame that, I'll unpause it, and we'll can sell these. They're not good to us, apart from getting us a little bit of extra cash. There we go. So, that's what I'm going to do today. Try and wait for Dennis's ghost to come back. And what are you blowing a horn for? What, what, what? Oh, the party still. Yeah, when I played this morning, we just aged up um, my girls and my little boy big party for all three of them all at the same time and some guests are leaving actually still so yeah I've got Angelina she's my black widow here is Victor Feng who is still a little bit sad because we made him get divorced from his wife but then he's going to be our next husband when he's not quite so sad we have our eldest daughter Trinity she's a teen her father was our first husband um, Paolo Rocco then we had twins, non-identical twins, um, Kerry and Jesse. Their father was Marcus Flex. And then we were married to Salim Benali. We didn't have any children with him. Then we got bored of living in the tiny little house we were in in Windenburg and moved in with Jeffrey Langrab in a mansion in the desert. And while we were there, we had Jeffrey Jr who is here, sleeping in his sister's bed for some reason. And then I liked his house, but this house was better. So we moved in here with Dennis, <laughs> killed off Jeffrey, married Dennis, killed off Dennis, and now we're living here with almost 400,000 simoleons and never worked a day for it. Oh, wow, ghosts, ghosts everywhere. Who's this? Marcus? And Salim. I love how the ghosts are different depending on how they died as well. We've got 
Um, Salim died in the sauna, so he's steaming everywhere. Marcus died in the pool, so he's dripping water everywhere. We had um, Paolo died of being poisoned by some bad puffer fish nigiri. So he has a little fish swimming around in his chest. We killed um, Jeffrey by starvation and Dennis by woohooing him to death. I'm hoping to kill Victor by electrocution. So he's got zero hand in his skill and we have a broken stereo. So I am going to attempt for him to get electrocuted. And if that fails from just doing that, then I will get the weather machine, I think. Get the weather machine in. Okay. So. Everyone's asleep. Let's speed up time. Excuse me if I've got hiccups. I've literally just ordered myself a Chinese. And eaten it quite fast. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying not to hiccup everywhere. Oh, little Jeffrey Jr.'s awake. Oh, he's stinky. There you go. In the bath. Hey, I didn't even tell you to do that. There's a good boy. He had a rough childhood. As a toddler, if you watched the stream at all this morning, he was such a bad mood all the time. His knees were all in the red. At least now he's a child, he can take care of himself. Oh, but I've just noticed. He's, um, he got rid of his glasses. He had glasses as a toddler. I quite liked him in glasses. I think they suited him. Um, Celine, slightly inappropriate. There's a child in the bath here. Yeah, okay. You just go. Don't scare him. You're not too tired. Shall we? Uh oh. Don't crash. Don't crash. Don't crash. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, scary. Um, shall we take go into cast actually? Put the glasses back on him. I think he, they suited him. None of my other sins have got glasses. Oh, oh. Was that someone getting a quirk? Did you hear that little bit of music then? That sounded like someone was getting a quirk. And, oh, who's the famous person in my family? I think Nina Victor's famous because of being a politician. Oh, look at that lag. Oh, yeah. Why are you so laggy? Right, now, I thought that he looked like, um, like his dad. But I don't know now. Hmm. I don't know who he looks like. Let's put some glasses on him anyway. Which ones did he have as a toddler? He had like big ones. Hmm, we'll go with these. Maybe change the colours of the frame. What choice do we have? Just plain black, orange. Oh, the white ones look quite cool. Yeah, we'll go with the white ones, I think. And oh, should we change his outfit? I mean, I, thought, I don't think that's looking great on him. Not really. These trousers aren't really doing it for me. Let's see, what can we get him? Oh, some patchwork jeans. Yay. And some like normal trainers. Rather than like, the little toms. Yeah, that'll do. Um, I don't want to go overboard with all the little makeover for him. Yeah, that's okay for a formal. That's okay for athletic. That's okay for sleeper, I suppose. Part party wear. Oh yeah, when he aged up, he had this hat on, I remember now. Maybe get rid of the hat. We don't need the hat. What else is he wearing? Oh, that's okay for party wear. That's quite smart. Uh, swimwear's fine. Oh, cold wear. See, he's wearing glasses. You know what? I just realised his glasses didn't follow him through, did he? I don't like those round glasses on him. I'll go back and I'll put the other glasses on him in a minute. Hot weather wear and cold weather wear. Yeah, everything was fine. Let me just go back and put glasses on him for every single outfit. And why, why Sims? Why pierce his ears just randomly? Where are we? It was, uh, it was these, wasn't it? In the white frame. Yeah. Um, athletic. Uh, yeah, he's still got the glasses on. I don't wear glasses, so I don't know when you take them off. I mean, obviously you take them off to sleep. That makes sense. Um, party where he's gonna need them. Um, swim where you take them off to swim, I suppose. And then hot weather wear, he's going to need them, and cold weather wear, he's going to need them. Yeah, not the rain ones, so these ones. There we go. Jeffrey Jr. I know the Jr. should be after his surname, but... You know, when it comes up as a notification on the side there, it doesn't always say his last name, so it just says Jeffrey Jr. Okay, so, he's done. 
What we need to do is basically get Victor married to us. So we can have his money when he goes. Actually, no, he already moved in with us, so we've got his money. But part of the rules, we need to marry him. We can't just kill him off and him not be our husband. And then we need to think about who we're going to marry next. Now, I've already got an idea. I'd like our next husband to be Vlad. Daddy Vladdy. Um, the vampire. Now, I haven't seen him around for a while. So I think he might be still in, in Forgotten Hollow. So I'll have to go and find him. But we can do that. That's fine. Jesse, are you going to bed? Okie dokie, there you are. Everyone's back to sleep again. Oh, everyone got spooked by the ghost. That's why they were awake. I see, I see. Uh, more lights being odd colours again. Sims, why did you do this? All these weird light colours. A blue one, a red one, a purple one. This house was like a party house. Everything was a different colour. Go on, speed up. I know we've got ghosts, but you can go a bit faster than this. Can you not? Oh, I hate it when it drops down. Like the reason I've got the little um Oh, stop moving around. The little room dividers here was at the time these two girls, the twin girls were toddlers, and they were sharing a room, but I thought as an older child, she would want her own room. But it makes sense still, because she's aged up into a teenager now, and these girls are just um children age, child age. But I think Where's where's Kerry sleeping? Oh, she's decided to sleep down there. This isn't your bed, honey. This is not your bed. I know it's your brother's fault for stealing your bed. Your brother has only got a toddler bed because he literally aged up like a minute before I saved the stream this morning. So shall we do that? Let's go into, um, into build mode and give your brother a bed of his own. Wow, look at that lag. Oh my god. Oh, he got still. Okay, which bed should we go for? Single bed. Should we go for the wooden one? I think we should go for the no, wooden one's quite nice. Are there any more single beds other than that one? No, I don't like these ones. That's a toddler bed. Oh, I, I do like this one, but I don't think it would suit his room. I think we'll go for the wooden framed one. That one or that one. Will that fit sideways? What colour combinations do these come in? See, look at the swatches. White, black. Oh, the green matches his room, though. What else have we got? Man, this lag. So laggy. Um, How about this one? What colour swatches does the Salvadorado one come in? We've got a nice one. Oh, that one's quite bright. That one sort of matches his room. That was... Because his room's kind of yellow and blue and green. Yeah, we'll go with this one. If it'll place. Oh my god, look at the frame rate on that. Oh my god, it's awful. Let's, uh, let's get out of Belmo because that's yucky. Oh, Trinity's awake. Are you hungry? Okay. Why is it still so laggy? Oh my god. How is the. Can you remove those candles? Yeah, remove the candles. Because it's no one's birthday anymore. Not yet, anyway. Whose birthday's next? Oh, no, it's Trinity's birthday, not until Wednesday autumn. So ages away, like nearly a week away. That's good. Yeah, no one's birthday again. So whose is this one? Uh, the twins and Jeffrey Jr. again. And then, uh-oh, that's when uh, Black Widow ages up. And she's not planning on having any more kids, so we've got no way of extending her life naturally. Mm. And this is Victor, but Victor's not going to live that long. He's definitely not going to live all the way through to spring. 100%. So, okay, Trinity. Whoa, whoa, where are you going? Super speed. Super speedy sims. Go downstairs, make yourself some. Who put the candles back on the cake? You know what? Just clean it up. I took those, oh, you know what, no one put them back on, she hasn't taken them off yet, silly me, clean it up, actually, if you can take those off, take a piece, yeah, have some cake, 
I mean, I know there's some actual proper food here. But this house is a right mess. It's always a right mess after a party. There's like dirty counters, half eaten food, half prepared food. Ugh. Jesse's awake. Are you hungry too? I'll grab some food. I think you might need to go into Cass as well, darling. Look. Oh, here we go. Here was the quirk. An emotion bomb. That's because he's really sad. Because of being divorced. But, you know, he's not going to be divorced for long. He's going to be remarried again very soon. Very soon. Well, as soon as... Um, as soon as he's getting over being sad, really. In fact, while we're in the bathroom, can you give yourself a pep talk? That'll bring your sadness down a little. Oh, I didn't notice this bit here, this little undercover bit. I haven't really looked at this house properly. I mean, it's nice there's little build quirks in it, but I don't know, the lighting was just crazy. I don't know why. Oh, he's going to go to work. Um, okay, go to work. He makes a fair bit of cash. The kids are all going to school. Kerry, your mood's fine. Jesse, you need a bath. Could you, could you go and have a shower, please? Uh, Jeffrey, you're a little bit hungry. So if you could come downstairs and just... Oh, no, you can't. Just have some cake, then. That's the only thing in the house that's not gone bad. Take a slice. There we go. Take a piece of cake. You're in a good mood? Can you maybe do the dishes? Just because everyone's going to be in a bad mood being in here if it's a mess. And what's up with you? Oh, you need the bathroom too. Okay, go. Everyone was happy while they were asleep. And now they're waking up in bad moods. We can't kill you yet. So don't go near that speaker. What are you doing? Getting some food? Okay. Trinity, you're getting all the dirty dishes. This is what, Every time we have a party, like everyone just leaves their stuff everywhere. You can carry on sleeping. Start school in like five minutes. And there's puddles everywhere because Marcus was here overnight. I'm leaving his puddles because he's a drowned ghost. What's Victor, you're going to need to go to work too. So yeah, off to work. Why are you tense? Oh yeah, she's going through a phase. She's going through that distant phase that she doesn't want to oh, be no. around anyone. So yeah, just go to school. Go to school. Thank you. You can go to school. And you're at school. And you've got to go to school too. Yep, I know it's your first day as a grown up kid. But you've got still got to go to school. Everyone's gone. Good, good, good. In fact, it's these two girls' first day at high school too. Wow, does that mean Angelina's here all by herself? All day. Ooh, what could she possibly get up to? Now, we could have invited uh, Vladislaus around, but we haven't got him on our friends list. He does not exist to us, so we have to go hunting for him. Which what we'll do after we've tied it up in here. Finish making some food, do a bit of a clean up because it's a state in this kitchen. It's an ugly kitchen too. It's a really ugly kitchen. I'm not a fan. Not a fan at all. Yeah. You can eat some food for me? Cool. That's some mac and cheese. Okay, you made mac and cheese yet you're gonna eat cake. Okay. Hun. I mean, no hate, but that that's why you got the booty that you got. You know? I mean, you're a beautiful woman, oh, don't get me wrong. But, but there's like there's actual food here and you go for the cake? Ooh. Oh, boy. What stinks? Oh, that plate. <laughs> Fair enough. Yes, it does. Like I say, there's nobody out here. She was usually smelling the, the toddler's nappy. Because, yeah, she wasn't the best of parents to him. Oh, that's Out of all four of her kids, I think he suffered the most neglect. Poor child. But he's okay now. He can take care of himself a little bit now. I think we need to get a flower on, Jeff on Dennis's grave. He's going to feel left out. Oh, who's calling? 
a fight? What? Teacher had to break up a fight between Trinity and another student in the hall today. Trinity's fighting? That is not like her at all. She's a golden child. Have them work it out. No one got hurt. It's fine. Violence is unacceptable. Oh, it's got to be the top one or the bottom one. Hmm. I'd say, yeah, violence is unacceptable, young lady. You do not fight people. If you've got a problem, talk it through. Okay. Jeffrey Langrav, congratulations on your recent birthday. Yes, thanks, ghost dad. I mean, you, you're like, you're there. But thanks for calling me from beyond the grave while I was at school. Okay, so, yeah, we're going to get tied up in here. Huh. Let's put this away. Put this away. Put this away. And clean up. And then clean the counter. Just queue up some cute cleaning interactions. Mop the floor. Oh, and there's dishes in here too. Oh my god, it's so bright mess in here. Why is it so stinky? And there's dirty dishes on the floor. You know what? I'm going to give her a hand. Drag these over. Why can't I take that? Who made that? Oh, the, the caterer made that. That's why I can't drag it. Who made this? Oh, I think the, the caterer made that too. That's why I can't move it. It's okay. She's going to clean it anyway. That's good. We're all clean. Oh, and toddler stuff. I can get rid of the toddler stuff now. Oh, that's her dad. Marcus Flex calling on her birthday. Aww. And then we should go and meet husband number... S oh, he'll be husband number seven. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Ten husbands to do. And we've, we've definitely got five in the bag. Six is here, and then we're going to go and meet number, potential number seven. Plus, I've got another couple in mind as well. Mm. Mm. Excuse me while I have my drink. Um, we know a guy called Devante Roper. I'd like him to be one of our husbands. Um, my chat has said to me before that they'd like to see me marry Thorne Bailey. Now, he's going to be hard because him being a celebrity, I've got to get to know him first. And, you know... Celebrities are like in this game, they don't even want to talk to you at first. So that'll be a trick, but then that'll be eight and nine, and then we'll have number ten. Who can be husband number ten? Who do we already know that we haven't already killed? Um, Mark. Mark's getting quite close to us. He's already married, but that's never been a problem before. Um, who else? Barco's married. Gunther we had a slight fling with. But nothing really... Mm. Who's this guy? Pranav. Yeah, we've got a few. And I mean, we're going to meet some more too. So, Yeah, but definitely Devante Roper. And uh, Vladislaus. And possibly Thorn Bailey. We'll see how Thorn Bailey goes. But yeah, we need... What are you doing? Having a bath? Okay, yeah. That's fine. Your hygiene is low. I want you to be all fresh as a daisy for when you go and meet Vlad. Now, I know that if you call a vampire in the middle of the day, they don't come over. Because it gives you that little notification that says they're a vampire and they can't come out in the day. <laughs> but can you go and knock on their door and let yourself in? <laughs> Is that allowed? Because I'm not going to wait until night time to go and visit him. I'm a busy mummy. I've got four kids to look after. And a potential husband to um, swoon over and stuff. So I don't want to be leaving it too late to go and visit him. He might be in his coffin in the basement. Ooh. Windows notifications. Okay, let's go travel then. Phone and travel. Uh, alone. <laughs> I'm not going to bring anyone with me to the vampire house. And let's go hunting for vampires. There is one vampire that's come knocking on our door um, a few times. Druve, I think his name was. D H R U V. Um, I don't think he's rich though. And the only reason I want to go after Vlad is because of his money. 
uh, they are in Forgotten Hollow. Up in this house here, Count Ladislaus Strode the Fourth. Who lives here? The Tours. And no one. And no one. And no one. Let's go visit Vladdy. Confirm. And hopefully it'll let me in. Hmm. If nothing else, if we get. If we just meet him once, as long as we met him once, then I can try and chat to him on the phone or invite him over and get to know him then. I can invite him over at night time and we'll see. But I don't even know him yet. So this is just a, a, a reconnaissance mission, really, I suppose you'd want to call it. A little scouting mission. Hi, Chris. How are you? Thanks for joining me again. Second stream of the day. I'm just about to meet Vlad. Let's go and knock on his door. Hopefully he will let us in. Even though he's probably asleep. It's the middle of the day. Come on, please let me in. <laughs> no one's home? Where is he? Where's Vlad? I'm sure it said he was here. No one's home. Uh, yes, Jeffrey Jr. and I are good friends. He's my son. Oh man, look at all the graves. I hadn't even noticed how many graves there are around here. And some of them look quite fresh. Hmm. Vlad, where are you, hon? Can, we, can you let me in? Please? Please, Vladislaus. I want to get to know you, that's all. I'm not going to kill you. <laughs> well, not yet, anyway. I'm sure he was there when I went on the map view. Maybe it's because it's daytime and he's actually asleep. Come on, please let me in. No one's home. Where could he be? It's the middle of the day. Where could he be? I'm sure it said he was in. You only hover over their house if they're not in there, like I'm ghosted out aren't they? That's not available because we're there. Hmm. Let's go. Hmm. Where could he be? Where could he be? You know what? If we're not going to meet Vlad, let's go to Del Sol Valley and see if we can meet Thorn Bailey. Is he at home? Say he's at home. Let's go meet him. Because again, once he's on our friends list, we could possibly call him, text him. These will be husbands number seven and eight, Vlad and Thorn. So, you know, we're pairing through. Some of the deaths have been harder to achieve than others. But yeah, <laughs> it's, been, it's been tough. Some of them have been tough. That rodent death it just didn't happen. I really wanted that to happen as well. Right, let's go and knock on Thorn Bailey's door. Room. Huh. Oh no, we can't because it's a celebrity home. Oh man. Oh no, I know what we need to do then. More travelling. Travel, travel, travel. Yep, more loading screens. I know where Thorn Bailey will show up at. He'll show up at Orchid Go Go, right? He always does. Here. He'll be there, grabbing the limelight from everybody, as usual. Oh. I've said that now, so I'll be jinxed it. He probably won't even turn off. Oh. Excuse me. No drink. I forgot that you couldn't knock on celebrity doors. Oh no. So Vlad wasn't home. Thorn's not letting us knock on his 